Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. For today's conversation, we'll be talking about the new release from Chudon called Versailles. It's also their first release of the year, and they're starting off strong. And that's for both the sin quality and the strength. And <laughs> let's talk about it. When it comes to the royal family and Chudon, they have a rich history together. This bond of theirs has lasted for over three centuries, with Chudon being the royal wax manufacturer, candle provider for the royal family. This was up until the French Revolution. The Versailles castle was filled with Chudon candles. This is one of those lasting relationships that will last forever. I mean, you've seen it for yourself. Many candles from Chudon I've reviewed so far on the channel draw some sort of inspiration that has to do with the royal family in some sort of way. Which brings me to the new Trudon candle in partnership with Versailles, which was the epicenter for French royalty created by none other than Louis XIV. This location actually existed long before Drain that started off humbly as a hunting lodge, or not so humble. There's nothing humble about having a personal hunting lodge. Anyways, Louis XIV saw so much potential in the chateau that he himself became the architect and brought his vision for Versailles to life. He ultimately built a palace, a masterpiece that till this day represents luxury. Louis XIV was a very influential person. I'm not going to go into French politics because I know nothing about it. But the creation of Versailles was an incredible show of the amount of power and influence he had. There was this show on Netflix called Versailles that actually started my interest in the history of monarchs and their accomplishments. In this case, Louis XIV. It was more of a show for entertainment, but I found it really good with some useful information. It showed the power of Louis XIV and his court and the creation of the beautiful Versailles. I don't believe it's on Netflix anymore. This was years ago when I watched it. It may be on another streaming platform by now. The show is called Versailles, and I think it's worth watching if you're into monarchs, power, luxury, and the fashion shown I think was done very well. I also love the visuals of the Versailles Palace too. I haven't been to see Versailles in person yet, but it's, so, it's one of my bucket list items. We all know the grand vastness of Versailles, but I found out a couple things while doing some research I thought were very interesting, so I want to share them with you. Firstly, there was an oversight with planning, and it has to do with the kitchen. The seat of the king in the dining hall was so far away from the kitchen that his meals were often served cold. If I was king, there would have been a private kitchen right next to my sink, but I know during that time, who wants to see a dirty kitchen? Secondly, while Versailles hosted thousands of people, did you know this palace also had several menageries full of wild animals and birds from across the world? And the main menagerie was the first place to divide animal species into separate enclosures, which soon spread throughout Europe and were eventually called zoos. And thirdly, it's said that Louis XIV's favorite feature of Versailles were the gardens, which was created to entertain him, his court, and his friends. That garden is also what the Versailles candle from Chudon is based on, titled Garden and Spring. I actually met the creative director of Chudon, Julian, when I went to the release of the Versailles scent. I got to pick his brain a bit about his creative process when it comes to creating the scents for Chudon. Very nice guy who's also a perfectionist. He takes his work very serious when it comes to the brainstorming stage to actually creating the sense. The creation of a new Trudon scent goes through rigorous stages of sourcing the best ingredients that can accurately bring his vision to life, as you would assume. If it isn't quite right or something is missing, it's back to the drawing board until it's perfected. He likes to bring out the best in what a scent can provide. I know creating a scent can take an extremely long time, but the process Trudon takes in order to create a scent, even in the brainstorming stage, has given me a newfound appreciation for this house. There are some other things I can't mention just yet, but just know Trudon is always finding ways to elevate to that next level. They're my favorite candle house for a reason. So, how does the Versailles scent fit into the Trudon lineup? The inspiration for the scent is based on the green floral aroma of the Versailles Gardens. It is definitely green and it's definitely floral. The color of the packaging to the vessel is called azur. It's a true pigment of a blue sky, much like the blue found in a fresco or a painting. This particular color of blue is the connection of the palace to the extraordinary garden. This packaging with the golden accents truly makes the candle feel grand, just like the gardens. I find the design to be very well done. 
and this frosted blue glass found on the candle vessel contrasting against the golden Trudon crest makes this candle stand out in any room. This blue pigment really reminds me of a vibrant blue cloudless sky on a summer day. When I was talking to Julian, I couldn't help but notice the design resemblance between the Versailles candle and the Tuileries candle, which is based on the rose, Marie Antoinette's favorite flower. That one has the pink box and frosted glass vessel. I asked him about it and Julian told me he actually used it as part of the inspiration for the Versailles candle. The goal was for these two candles to coexist next to each other. They do look quite amazing together. And burning the two together is basically bringing a strong garden smell into the space. Maybe a little too much for my senses, but the opportunity is there. The scent of Versailles is one of the strongest candles offered from Trudon in my experience, and Trudon candle performance is typically already strong. So if strength is something you look for in a candle, it's definitely in this. For $150 after tax, I kind of expect it to give me everything performance and quality wise, and it delivers. This is a bright, herbaceous, white floral scent. Up top, there's peony, essence of mint, and thyme flower. In the mid, there's essence of rosemary, linden, and tuberose absolute, going into the base of honeysuckle, natural upcycled oak wood, and blue iris. Okay, let's break this scent down. This scent on cold, it gives off a pronounced floral with peony and tuberose. I get the vibrancy of tuberose for sure. That white floral note is unmistakable, but the tuberose isn't as vibrant as what you'll get with something like the Positano scent, for example, but that bright touch is nice in this. I'm also getting a bit of a musky aroma that's coming from the peony. It's a little powdery and warm with some sweetness to it. That note of peony is sitting right at the top of the scent with that nice tuberose touch. And with those strong florals, there is also an invigorating scent of mint mixing with the thyme and rosemary that adds a polarizing herbaceous touch to the scent on cold. Overall, musky, bright, floral, herbaceous scent on cold. A bit complex, but polarizing as the scent develops and as the wax melt. When burning, this scent, it went into a completely different direction than where I was expecting it to go. I thought I was going to get this strong floral scent with just some slight touches of green herbaceousness, but I was wrong. It instead developed into this strong herbaceous scent with the florals being the supporting notes. I was not expecting that at all. The mint, the thyme, the rosemary, those became the leading notes. Don't get me wrong, the florals, they're still there and you can pick them up with no problem. I was just shocked at how this scent became so herbaceous as it burned. Maybe the base notes had something to do with the scent transforming into something different. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I find this to be a very unique burn. I actually love the way this scent unfolded and went left on me. He had a four of five from long range. Durant's got 11. Craig goes down. Durant is this is a floral scent worth trying if you're a fan of the garden smelling florals. Just be prepared for the herbaceous notes. It's a beautiful scent that's perfect for the morning afternoon hours. It's a candle I can definitely see burning in the halls of Versailles. The cold throw performance is moderate. Not the strongest, about the same as your average candle. The whiffs I do get is when I'm sitting close by it, but in a smaller room, the cold throw will be stronger. The hot throw performance is very strong, one of the strongest from the Trudon lineup. The classic size may be a little too much for something like an enclosed bedroom. A large open living room, it does just fine with filling it up with scent. Some of you told me you were getting this scent, so I'm gonna know your thoughts on it. Do we share a similar experience, and do you like their herbaceous touches? Trudon is starting the year off strong with this new release, and I cannot wait to see what else they have in store. You know what? I have a few of these and it'll take me a very long time to burn through just one. So I'm gonna give one away to a subscriber at the channel. I wasn't planning on doing a giveaway this early, but why not? Let's do it. This was literally a last minute decision. So I'm not gonna title the video as a giveaway. If you made it this far and you're still watching, Thank you so much for your support of me and the channel. Sebastian from the Perfume Guy YouTube channel actually inspired me to do this giveaway. The only thing I ask of you is comment down below what you like most about the Detailed Dream channel. That's it. A week from now, I just randomly pick someone to give the Versailles candle to. Simple. Again, thank you so much for your support.